All right, we're going to get into a little bit of um, conjuring the sum or difference of two cubes here. Now we know the sum of two squares, something like uh, x squared plus 9. This won't factor. We can't factor that. Now x squared minus 9, we know we can factor that because that's a difference. We have a negative sign in there. We have x minus 3 times x plus 3. Okay. So, although we can't factor the sum of two squares, um, we can do the sum of cubes. And, and we do that by multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. So, essentially factoring the sum or difference of cubes. And so, the sum of cubes, or sum of two cubes, we should say. We would have x plus y multiplied by the trinomial x squared minus xy plus y squared. Okay. So if we factor this all out, then remember we're going to multiply our first term here, x by everything, and our y by everything. So if we if we uh, distribute everything out here, we'll get x cubed minus x squared y plus xy squared plus x squared y minus xy squared plus y cubed. And if we want to combine terms here, we know we only have one x cubed. We have negative x squared y and positive x squared y. Those will cancel out. And we have xy squared and negative xy squared. Those cancel out. So what we get is x cubed plus y cubed when we do this. So that's how we're proving that this form actually works. Now, <clears throat> that's the sum of cubes. What if we want to look at the difference of cubes? Difference of two cubes. All right. And the difference of two cubes, we have x minus y multiplied by x squared plus xy plus y squared. Okay. Now, if we multiply these out, x times x squared is x cubed. x times xy is plus x squared y. x times y squared is plus xy squared. Now, negative y times x squared is minus x squared y. Negative y times xy is minus xy squared. Negative y times y squared is minus y cubed. Combining terms here, we have x cubed, we have x squared y and negative x squared y, those cancel out. We have xy squared and negative xy squared, those cancel out. So we're looking at x cubed minus y cubed. So there's a sum of cubes where we're adding, there's a difference of cubes where we're subtracting. Right? So what this means for us, essentially, if we're going to break this down and say, okay, the sum and difference of uh, two cubes. And we're going to say, hey, let's make this a little simpler. Well, if we have something like a cubed plus b cubed, then when we write, write this, we would have a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared. And then if we have the difference, which is a cubed minus b cubed, what we end up getting there is a minus b, a minus b, multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay. Well, what does this mean for us? Well, let's look at a situation. Let's say we have x cubed plus 8. Okay. We know x cubed is equal to x times x times x, so it's a perfect cube, and a is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. So if is a perfect cube. So if, if we write it in this form, if we, we want to write it in the form of um, a cubed plus b cubed. So if we did that, we'd have x cubed plus 2 cubed. Right? Makes sense. Now we can use a special form. This is a plus. So all we have to do is look here at the sum of cubes, and we can say a plus b. Okay, well, let's look at this. a plus b, our a term is x, our b term is 2. 
So really, what we're looking at here is x plus 2 multiplied by, now we have a squared, so we'll have x squared, because x is our a term, minus a times b, minus a is x, b is 2, so minus 2x, and then plus b squared, well, plus 2 squared. And if we work this out, we can prove our, our uh, proof here. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 2x is minus 2x squared. And x times um, 2 squared would be plus 4x. We we'll say 4x because we know 2 squared is 4. We go through the other way, we get 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. Because 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. So now let's combine our terms. We have x cubed. Negative 2x squared, positive 2x squared. Those cancel. 4x and negative 4x cancel. So we're back to 8 cubed plus x squared, x cubed plus 8. So this is how we do the sum and difference of two cubes. Remember, a sum, we're just looking at our a cubed plus b cubed, which we put in this form here. So we have a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. For the difference of two cubed, which would be a cubed minus b cubed, we get a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So the sum and difference, uh, looking at these, whoa, I got out of nuts there. So factoring the sum or difference of two cubes, this is what we're looking at. Looking at these two things and then breaking it down into this. So hopefully this helps when you're looking at the sum or difference of two cubes. See you in the next video. Bye.